All right, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is on his way to Turkey this morning. He will want to talk about the fight against ISIS, but the Turks want to discuss this man, a controversial Turkish religious scholar named Fatullah Gulen. Turkish President Erdogan accuses Gulen of being behind a bloody coup attempt in that country last year. Glenn, who lives in the United States, denies he was involved. The Turkish government is lobbying the Trump administration to extradite Gulen back to Turkey. Now, let's go back to Margaret Brennan at the White House. She has some surprising revelations about his followers in the United States. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, the Turkish government calls Fatullah Gulen a terrorist, while his followers say he has merely become a scapegoat for Turkey's power-hungry leader. But here in the U.S., he faces a new challenge. CBS News has learned that the FBI is investigating whether his followers skimmed money from U.S. schools and charities to fund the movement back in Turkey. A violent coup attempt shook Turkey last July. Hundreds were killed as rogue military tanks rolled into the streets of Istanbul. But the man the Turkish government blames for inciting it has lived in this Pennsylvania compound for 17 years. His name is Fatullah Gulen, and his followers run publicly funded science and math focused charter schools in the United States. By our count, they've opened 136 charter schools in 28 states, operating on more than $2 billion taxpayer dollars since 2010. But former teachers at those schools have told CBS News there is a scheme by Gulen's followers in the U.S. to take advantage of the American charter school system and fund Gulen's movement. Ersan Kunkur was once a follower of Fatullah Gulen. He worked as a math teacher at schools founded by Gulen supporters in New York and Texas. But he says school officials made a special demand of the Turkish teachers who worked there, a kickback from their taxpayer-funded salary. They'd force you to give some of that money back to them? Yes. Were you writing checks? They were asking cash. I paid some of them with check. How much money do you think you paid to the movement? I mean, more than 20,000 in total, maybe, maybe a lot more than 20,000. Mustafa Emanet was an IT administrator at a Gulen-inspired charter school in Ohio. How much money do you think you gave? I was paying uh, around 40 percent of my uh, salary. 40 percent of your salary? Yes. Based on information provided by Eminet, federal investigators believe former officials at his Ohio school illegally paid themselves about $5 million in federal contracts and then sent some of those U.S. tax dollars to a bank in Turkey linked to Gulen's followers. The school says it is cooperating with the probe. They're a threat to our relationship with Turkey and thus to the stability of the Middle East. Former U.S. Ambassador to Turkey James Jeffrey told us Gulen's followers are a powerful force in Turkey with public good works but more private political aims. We need to investigate this movement again, first and foremost, for what it is attempted to do in Turkey. Secondly, uh, what it is trying to do here in the United States and what laws it may be breaking in the process of doing so. Fatullah Gulen repeatedly declined to speak with us. Us. But we spoke with his closest advisor, Alpez Landuin. If there's a proven charge that somebody illegally channeled money from public funds into some private uh, purposes, uh, he will be first to condemn it. The Turkish teacher said that they were then forced to hand over part of their salary back to the movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forced donations is absolutely unethical. It is uh, disgusting. Uh, I, would, I would be first to condemn something like that. The charter schools that employed Turkish teachers Konkur and Emanet strongly deny any official links to Fatullah Gulen himself. But we found nearly all Gulen schools have ties to a network of nonprofits, many of which lead back to Gulen or his top associates. And court records related to Gulen's immigration to the U.S. show that his lawyer said he had, quote, overseen the establishment of a conglomeration of schools, including in the United States. What do you think they're really trying to do? They try to gain more power and power, and they want to make more money. And then after that, they use the money to gain more power. Now, Ersan Konkur's former employers dismissed his allegations and accused him, without providing evidence, of being an agent working for the Turkish government, a charge he denies, Gail. Uh, but Konkur did tell us he's spoken to lawyers working for the Turkish government.
All right. There's certainly more to hear about that story. Thank you very much, Margaret.